Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and a few weeks back I put up a video showing how um, the uh, back of the battery got all puffed up like, uh, well let's see, here's the battery here that was all puffed up and uh, you can see, well I'll put, I'll put a, uh, the part of that video on but anyway you can see that that's puffed up enough that uh, it's, it's got uh, gas inside of it, which happens when uh, a LiPo battery, um, when a LiPo battery gets, uh, gets used. But uh, in this case, I figured out how to, um, how to get rid of the puffiness. And that is, take out one of the cells. <laughs> and so what I did was I tore one of these apart and uh, I would just curious to see what was inside and um, I measured the voltage what I did first of all uh, if you notice in the picture uh, I have a fire extinguisher handy plus I uh, soaked this in a uh, bucket of salt water for about uh, well actually it was about a day one day and when I measured that when I got this apart and measured the voltage between this is uh, this, this is the negative side uh, and uh, the case is the positive side, but it's got a plastic, plastic coating on it. So I had to do some cutting on the edge of it there and then I had to cut that. It, it was uh, like insulated. And it was one millivolt left in this when I, after soaking it for uh, about a day. <clears throat> so anyway, you can see that that's puffy and um, they, uh, they, um, this was at this at the beginning was here. This wire checks to see if the battery is snapped in securely. Now you can see that uh, I don't know this this is the one that had the split, which uh, I'll show you in the, I'll have it with the video. Anyway, uh, and so what this this part right in here is pretty much the uh, balancing computer that. Uh, tells when it, as the bat as the uh, cells charge up when this one gets high and it's done they stop charging this one but they continue charging the others and they're until they're each up to um, uh, what is it 4.2 volts I think uh, for a normal lipo battery anyway so uh, that's the computer right there And what I did was I first, I started uh, by just splitting it in half. And then uh, when I saw what was in there, I put it in the bucket for 24 hours. And I just put a couple of, uh, of uh, tablespoons of salt into about a half a bucket of the, bu half, the bucket that you saw, uh, about half full. And as you can see, each one of these cells is puffy. And uh, it could be because of the way I treated my battery when I first got my drone. Uh, because I was lifting, <laughs> I was lifting candy and dropping it for the kids. Plus, we have hot temperatures down here, and I'm sure that the battery gets a lot hotter in this area than in other places. So anyway, that's what it looks inside, and we could just continue ripping these off. I think <clears throat> until we get down to the bottom. There's, there's another one, and they put these pads in between to give it space so that um, as uh, as the puffing gets more and more, there's space between the two. And I don't have a tool here to get the rest of them out, but basically they connect in to these plates, places here, and uh, several lamps flow through this and through this circuit right here. I don't know if you can see it good, but uh, anyway, it's just a circuit board. I suppose I could rip that out, but I won't do it right now. So uh, when I put it in the water, uh, these cells, these, uh, uh, connections on this side were where the bubbles were being generated in the salt water. So these uh, connectors over here are the ones that go to the battery, you know, plus and minus. Anyway, so <laughs> that's flat now. It's no longer puffy. And uh, that's how I did it. I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you have a fire extinguisher handy and a bucket of salt water. And you might want to soak it first in the salt water. So there you go. That's your uh, Mavic 2 battery after it's been, after this one has had about 50 charges and uh, 
not necessarily treated as gentle as most of them would be. So there you go. Uh, that's your Mavic 2 battery. I want to thank you for watching and God bless.